Hi everyone, in this video we will be discussing about mucosal block theory of iron absorption. So the iron that we receive from the food that we are taking usually exists in the two forms that is the heme iron and non-heme iron. You know that the most of our absorption in the elementary canal takes place in the small intestine region. So it consisting of lumen, goblet cells and the enterocytes like the mucosal cells etc. So when the food reaches the small intestine, the non-heme iron exists here in the form of Fe plus 3 ions. But these ions cannot be absorbed by the enterocytes. So the Fe plus 3 should be converted into any other absorbable form like Fe plus 2. This conversion of Fe plus 3 into Fe plus 2 is mediated by an enzyme called ferric reductase because of reduction is taking place here and a vitamin called vitamin C is mediating the conversion of Fe plus 3 into Fe plus 2. Now the Fe plus 3 is converted into Fe plus 2. The enterocyte consisting of the two surfaces that is the epical membrane which is invaginated itself and the basal membrane. So the epical membrane is consisting of a mucosal cell protein called divalent metal transporter 1 or DMT1. As the iron is existing in the form of Fe plus 2 which is a divalent form, it goes and binds to the DMT1 on epical membrane of the enterocyte. So this DMT1 allows the passage of Fe plus 2 into the mucosal cell. After reaching inside the cell, this iron is oxidized into Fe plus 3, the ferric state. Now this Fe plus 3 ion binds with apoferritin forms a complex with it and this apoferritin is converted into ferritin for its temporary storage for the temporary storage of Fe plus 3. So when the iron is needed by our body uh, for the tissues like the bone marrow for the production of RBC this Fe plus 3 ions are reduced to Fe plus 2 ions. So this uh, Fe plus 2 ions after this conversion they cross the mucosal cell with the help of a protein called ferroportin. Here the iron is crossing the membrane or the basal membrane in the form of Fe plus 2. After crossing the basal membrane, it reaches into the blood flow. Here it is reoxidized or again it is oxidized to the Fe plus 3 state. Now it is transported to the target site by the transferrin protein. So for example, during the erythropoiesis in the bone marrow, the conversion of porphyrin 9 to the heme is mediated by the enzyme called ferrochelatase and Fe plus 2 helps in the progression of this reaction. So coming to the heme iron absorption, it is directly absorbed into the cell by the heme carrier protein 1. So whenever the iron amount in the body is reduced, the absorption is enhanced. But when the iron is stored in the adequate quantity in our body, the absorption is decreased. This mechanism of absorption of iron is called mucosal block theory of iron absorption. The unique feature of this iron uh, metabolism is uh, that the homeostasis is maintained at the level of absorption not at the level of excretion.